I've seen people circulating a fake apology video that was cut from a video I'd made um, days ago claiming that that's my apology for bombers. I need to make this very clear. I am not sorry that I was at bombers. I do not in any way regret speaking at bombers. And um, I do not owe anyone an apology. Uh, a lot of the people that have talked to me and asked me, they've told me that um, they're wondering why I did not speak about Morara's attack. One, anybody who has a functional noggin knows that um, the attack on Morara was absolutely wrong. But who planned that attack? It's you. I know you want to blame it on some goons, but it is you. You are the biggest enabler of the people who meted out violence on Morara. Yes, you're the young person. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're, if you're a young person, you are the one who sponsored that violence. If you're an old person, you're the one who sponsored that violence. Then you come and call me a traitor or a sellout. Where were you? You all were typing and you all lied to each other and shared posters and said that you were going to go for public participation. Where were you? And don't lie that you were locked outside because even the people who were locked outside were not saying the things that you wanted to say. You're saying that uh, you wanted to crucify me for not saying Ruto must go. Show me videos of people who are saying Ruto must go at Bombers. You were supposed to come there for that public participation. You were the one who was supposed to do that. But you didn't show up. You want to be an armchair revolutionary. You want to be a revolutionary from your couch or from your bed so that you outsource confidence. And I say this again. Um, this is where I will call out uh, Morara and his team, for example. One of the biggest lessons I learned is there are no organic crowds in politics. You think that you have organic crowds. If I, Because I watched the videos. I'm actually, I'm, one, I was not at Bombers when Morara was attacked. If I'd seen that attack, I would have condemned it very vehemently. However, because I've been watching videos, how do you walk into a place in a crowd that we've not mobilized and this is why i also say it's the kenyans who sponsored violence against young people the kenyans hate us the kenyans hate the frontliners they hate you but i was watching that video you walked into a you walked into a theater full of people and uh, I'll, I'll just address this and and i have this has to be very clear i do not condone the attacks i do not condone any violence meted upon you this is a castigation to the Kenyans, but it's also a cautionary word. It, it is one of the biggest political lessons I've learned because I've paid for it dearly. And now I think we need to address it. You walked into the crowd and you, you, did, you had not made prior preparation for the crowd. You did not know who had mobilized it. And you, just like me, believe that uh, Kenyans of goodwill are the ones who had gone there. I'm addressing this directly to Morara because his team was the first one of the first people to say that I am a sellout. And if I hear it from the team, unless you denounce what the team said, effectively you're saying that uh, you also endorse the message that I am a sellout. But you walk into a crowd. One, you want to walk in there conspicuously with a program going on. You did not figure out what was going on on the ground. And then I hear that you, you, are, you started chanting uh, things that were contrary to what the, happened in the ground. Then I'm the one who's being castigated on the internet, uh, being called a sellout. I also went into bombers. People said I walked into a, I, I got in there with a GK vehicle. Where can evidence work at us? I want people to show because I was wearing a tuxedo and two, as much as you might want to deny it, I am a very difficult man to miss in a public function. Show me the videos of me getting in. Yes. I snuck in there. I asked myself because I was alone. I did not have a security team or a security detail. Nikaingia, I talked to the same same police who locked the doors, who are trying to deny. But if you talk to them, anyone who's being honest knows that that day the police were not being violent. Anyone who, if you talked to them properly, they would have guided you. They guided me and they told me where you can na vilo meonge pitia hu mlango mungine and they escorted me. And mark you, I also also almost experienced some violence from some people and I ran into a, a karum. But I'll cut that long story. Niliskiza ground, nika uliza tunasema nini and I asked so many people. There's a lady who pointed me because I'm the only Janzi mungine apo wanataka kutu nini was kwa mikuja kuonge then. Then I listened and asked what's happening on the ground. Because I'm a, is Gasha, I asked, is Gashagwa going? They said, yes. Is Ruto going? And they said, is Ruto going? You, as a Kenyan who's watching this and you you want to start typing all those silly ideas that are in your mind. Oh, street as hell out. Where were you? Where were you when you were setting us up? 
you promised that you would come and you said that you're rallying behind us and you've always tweeted and put the hashtag kufa driver kufa makanga where were you <laughs> you're such a joker you are such an irresponsible kenyan if you're watching this because you are the change we are supposed to be the change but you're delaying the change because you think your work is more important than the work for this country you've delegated it so mimi i'm a child of a lesser mother mimi kwangu nalipanga nalipanga hospital bills ama nalipanga uh, commodity bills na viva comrades viva sindio don't be silly anyways bombs happens the way it happens i speak truth to power and then you come and castigate me and, and talk about the platforming uh, which you are not doing either way and again like i said if this is another video that you're watching about bombs and you had forgotten if that other one had don't know said you deplat shuki hapa sasa hivi i'm willing to exp- to take this journey with 100 followers online but 100 followers who can actually reason and t- take balanced opinions so you did not come to bombs you as a kenyan you sponsored the attacks on morara Yes. You are the ones who ensured that public participation was a sham. You are the one who enabled all the bad behavior you've seen at Bomas. How you ask? Because you did not come. Because you're not a man of your word, you're not a woman of your word, and all you intend, all you thrive in doing is bringing people down and insulting people. That's your that's your contribution. Yes. You sponsored it. Then you're asking you're saying, "Oh, I've sold out. I was sitting. Show me videos of me at the podium when the attack was happening." Yes because you have these wild ideas in your head show me the videos where can evidence because you for me all you people usually do is you you bring you say claims but you cannot produce evidence it's just geo photos is been seen with who mkiwa mkijua watu nimeonekana nao watu nimepigwa picha nao kwa inchi anyways uh, long and short of the story i am not sorry for bombers shame on you for making bombers a failure if you feel it was a failure but guess what you see those people who are at the bombers they are the people who usually show up for mandamano they are the people who usually show whatever opinion you have and they are equally kenyans you you are not more kenyan than those people kids kudanganye you we want to despise these people and say that they had been paid 500 they'd been paid 1000 people 200 shillings these are the people for action If we can manage to convince these people and win them over ideologically that's how we make progress. You are a failure to the Kenyan people. Jiangalie kwa mira, mtu mwenye una watch video on your phone, you're a failure. And uh, 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 be damned for thinking you're any better than the people who are bombers. Kama ulikuwa bombers, big up. Thank you so much for the for supporting the motion of the impeachment. It's going on quite well. But kama pia ulikuwa bombers I would want us to think about politics differently. There's a way we can do it. There's a way we can do it peacefully. There's a way we can do it sustainably. Um and I believe that kama ulikuwa bom kama ulijitolea ama hata kama ulimobilizewa it shows that your material conditions cannot allow you to stay at home. Regardless, I'm not judging you you for receiving money from an MP or whatever because kama najita mtu anaweza mobilize, I should have outmobilized those MPs. I should have found the thing that would have been more convincing than money, but I didn't. Mkenya pia asijaribu kukutharau. Eh, all of us are Kenyans na tutapeleka tu kitu pole pole. Again, we cannot be the country that tolerates that that promotes intolerance. Eh hey. If it is a safe democracy where kama unataka gashagu abaki ama unataka ruto abaki you are as much a Kenyan as the people who as we who want the pre- entire presidency to go so in protection of our democratic space in finding that middle ground in treating each other as humans that's why we'll find the change that's why it's going to happen and um, I know it's going to happen I know it's going to happen yet again I'm not sorry for bombers bombers was my first day in politics it's a day I learned I learned very key lessons There are no organic crowds in politics most of the times do not go to a crowd that you've not mobilized if you do study it first three any crowd that you see in Kenya is probably made of Kenyans there's a way that if we listen if we truly listen to what the people say without trying to advance our agenda without trying to look like heroes it's very easy for us to um to convince these people and four we win people over by speaking with them not talking to them or talking at them and um i hope that uh, this uncomfortable video uh, i know there are parts which uh, are rather uncomfortable for you to to hear but these are the kinds of discussions this is where now i'm starting from this is where we are building it from here now i will start as a we'll start it as a rough course discussion and then as we go we refine it as we go but uh i'm not sorry for bombers